Welcome back, True Seeker. Let's play a little game called Coincidence or Not. Tonight, the first game of week four, Thursday night football, where only two out of the 32 teams in the league play. It just so happens that the Denver Broncos are starting number four for the first time in week four, who's Brett Ripien, the relative of Mark Ripien, who played with the Redskins in Super Bowl 26, if I remember correctly. It's when I was a child. But his relative, Mark Ripien, his birthday will be the day after this game. And what makes this all the more strange is when you know Gematria. Mark Ripien will turn 58 years old tomorrow, October 2nd, the night after his relative makes his debut in the NFL. Again, number four in week four. And with regards to it being his 58th birthday, Mark Ripien equals 58. And of course, decoding just the same, Secret Society's 58, Freemasonry's 58, American football is credited to a member of a secret society, Walter Camp, who was a Scottish Rite Freemason. Anyhow, 58 special number, ritualistic number, number we've talked an awful lot about the last seven years, and including in the world of sports including how we predicted that the Denver Broncos would defeat the Carolina Panthers in Super Bowl 50 and Cam Newton would become the 58th quarterback to start in a Super Bowl because Huey P. Newton equals 58, the founder of the Black Panther Party, like how Cam Newton had the Black Panther on his helmet. And that year, the Super Bowl was in the Bay Area where the Black Panthers were founded the year of the first Super Bowl season, 66. And... um, We also predicted why Von Miller would be the MVP of that Super Bowl, and we predicted all that in October, months before any of it was set. Who would win, what two teams, and who'd be the MVP? All through the number 58. That was also with the Denver Broncos. So that's another thing to think about. And if you mirror 58, it's 85. If you look at its reflection, from Brett Ripien, from his birthday to his debut in the NFL, his 85th day of his age, National Football League's 85, the Jesuit motto, Jesus Somnum Salvatore, is 85. Modern Freemasonry is under the umbrella of the Jesuits, so it's all related. And um, you just got to say, what are the odds? Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence that stuff like this happens almost every day in the world of sports? You know, like, say, for example, the day after the Kenosha shooting, the Dodgers call up their star second baseman from Kenosha. And then Mookie Betts, who got traded to the Dodgers on 4-2, leads a protest 42 days from his own birthday when he's the latest Jackie number 42. And Jackie equals 42. And earlier this year, Chadwick Boseman died on Jackie Robinson Day. And it was also Jack Kirby's birthday, the author of Black Panther. And Jackie Robinson, the baseball player, was in the military in a tank brigade called the Black Panthers, number 761, which is the 135th prime number. And this year, Jackie Robinson Day was 135 days after norm- when it normally is. And, of course, the Dodgers fell to 13-5 and five away on the road at Texas near Fort Hood, where Jackie Robinson was in the military. And Kobe Bean Bryant equals 135. And that same week on a Monday, the, B- the Lakers won with 135 points on Kobe Bean Bryant Day. And Kobe Bean Bryant's 135. And remember, he starred in the movie The Black Mamba with Kanye West, which ends with an exploding helicopter. And Kobe's helicopter crashed by Kanye's house in Calabasas 135 days from Kanye's June 8th birthday. Is it all just a coincidence? Could go on all day. But this stuff week after week. Number four in week four. Relative of Mark Ripien. The day before his 58th birthday of all birthdays. Big numbers. Keep in mind Ripien played for Washington D.C. team. Back when they were called the Redskins. Now the football team. And um, what's in Washington, D.C.? The headquarters for the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry for North America. And again, Washington, or football, credited to the Scottish Rite Freemason, George Washington. So, And of course, with regards to Washington, D.C. and the Jesuits, they've been there longer than the federal government. Georgetown, Jesuit. And um, if you find this work interesting, two things I recommend. You check out my Patreon page and pick up my new book. A lot of stuff about Kobe's death. A whole lot more. A lot of articles thrown in there. Ideas 
observations, evidence about what's been going on in the world of rig sports, how it's synced up with the world of rig news, how they put these riddles by, right before people's eyes day after day and people don't catch on. Because probably no one at the game tonight will say a word about it being Mark Rippian's relative's birthday tomorrow. They might, but so often they don't. They don't bring up these things. You don't notice unless you do the homework. So that's how you catch it. And for all the people who hate on it, you shouldn't hate on knowledge. Knowledge is power. Unless you think it's all a coincidence. But uh, I'll see what people say with the thumbs up and thumbs down. And by the way, if you do want to pick up the book, yes, I wrote the book. Or you want to sign up for the Patreon, it's all linked in the top pin post. Till next time, true seeker.